Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we'll talk about application of nanomaterials. So let's get started. So you can see a huge picture in front of you, which which says application of nanoparticles. So you can see the top main functions of nanoparticles is in textiles, is with renewable energy, environment, electronics, industrial food agriculture healthcare biomedical so under these there are lot many applications so under textiles you can have medical textiles text uh, technical textiles anti stain textiles and many other textile industries same as in you have many other applications under biomedical healthcare food agriculture industrial environment and electronics as well so these are some of the major applications of nanoparticles that we have here so moving into detail about these applications so you can see a picture again here in front of you so it says nano electronics and it devices so nano particles or nano materials have a huge role in the it industry or in making of it devices so why do we use them so these have excellent are these are excellent conductors of heat and electricity these are smaller and low power consumption so due to which prefer people prefer using these are uh, phones or any laptop or any tablet or any it device because of low power consumption also it develops high speed processing and data storage devices so due to increasing or increase in technology or advancement in technology the processors have increased highly or advanced highly which causes high speed processing or transfer of data or working during your uh, office hours so these are all caused or uh, these are all important foundations caused by it devices with the help of nano materials so some of the examples that are used are resistors conductors electronic microchips cnt based field emission displays signal electron transistor so these are some of the important devices that are or these are some of the important materials that are used in your phones laptops and tablets so coming to the second application which is nano medicines so talk about nano medicines we have a diagnostics which says specific biomolecule loaded gold nanoparticle can detect biomarkers in the diagnosis several ailments such as cancer infections so this particular so in this uh, nano medicines uh, the nano materials are used in making biomarkers so biomarkers play a very important role in identification of various diseases so biomarkers play a important role in treatment of cancers infections as you can see it's written here so these biomarkers help in different ways so there are so there are number of biomarkers that have been discovered or that have been made till date today with the help of these nano materials moving on with this so talking about the nano devices you can see two devices here so the first device which is the graphene wireless sensor on tooth to measure bacterial growth in mouth so you can see the advancement of technology which can be used to measure the bacterial growth in your mouth so it can check the amount of plague or amount of bacterial growth caused during while you sleep or in in the entire day in your activity so these are graphene wireless sensors so these are sensors that are uh, equipped or these are attached in your tooth to measure the bacterial growth in the mouth also we have electronic sensors such as temporary tattoo to monitor glucose level so these temporary tattoos are just attached like a sticker on your skin to measure the glucose level and also there are, there are many such nano devices that is used on human body to measure the insulin level and all the sugar levels for diabetic patients as well so moving with that so talking about the medicines and drugs so there are different ways to uh, different ways to uh, bypass or to understand the nature of the disease and to cure them with the help of these nanoparticles so moving with that i'll explain you this diagram clearly so applications of nanoparticles so we have therapeutic agent delivery so talking about the therapeutic agent delivery or tat so nanoparticle mediated drug delivery 
allows controlled and timely release of the drug in the specific sites only so therapeutic agent delivery is basically using nanomaterials or nanoparticles that is used along with the drug so that that particular drug when it is used or inhaled or consumed by the patient so that particular drug has its desired effect on that patient on that particular site or on that particular location where the damage has occurred so these uh, nanoparticles are used in TAD or therapeutic agent delivery so that the particular drug consumed by the patient has its desired effect also nanoparticles can be surfaced immobilized or loaded with therapeutics targeting agents and anti fouling polymers so there so these nanoparticles can be customized in a way such that it can be used for its uh, purpose to fulfilling its purpose by using various targeting agents and anti fouling uh, polymers so you can see here the diagram is shown here so these are drugs here and there are toxins below it so these bomb like creatures or you can say anything which are represented as toxins and above that you have the drugs so when these drugs get attached or get in contact with these toxins the drugs release their or release their anti toxin uh, anti toxic inflammatory or their agent particularly particularly to kill the toxin so that their effect or their purpose is satisfied so you can see here there's a layer in low at the low at bottom which says non cancerous cells above the non cancerous cells we have the cancer cells so when a drug a drug is put into the body of a patient the drug is uh, assumed that particular drug will cause its effect on the site of cancer cells or the infected region in the body so to fulfill its purpose nanomaterials are used in most cases what happens is when medicines are consumed by patients the drug or the particular medicine do not have that particular desired effect on that patient so to increase the efficacy or to increase the effectiveness of the drug these nanoparticles are used so that particular drug has its effect on that infected area only so moving with that let's talk about sensors now so high surface area with facility of biomolecule immobilization and unique optical properties allow it to be used for detection of proteins pollutants contaminants infectious agents and other molecules so there are various sensors available in the market as you know so most of them are designed with nanomatic uh, nanomaterials or you can say all of them are designed with nanomaterials so as to uh, identify or determine the various levels in our body in the environment and wherever uh, it's available or wherever it needs to be used so some of the examples of sensors are nano structured oxide metal oxide thin film is used as gas sensors bio sensor electronic chips so this particular uh, nano material or metal oxide thin film is used in various sensors also we have ultra sensitive electronic electromechanical sensors and micro electromechanical sensors which is known as mems also we have nano lithography which is used for frication of chips we have nano wires for our use for making transistors so there are many uses of nano materials that are available in today's world so moving more to more so you can see optical engineering so we know or we all of us use internet uh, in today's time so all of most of us have routers in our home most of us use the data that is available by different telecom services so the which leads to all of us getting connected with internet at the end of the day so you can see these are optical fibers or optical wires that are used and these are cables all right so these are made up of nano materials so that its conductivity is really lightning fast so that there is no loss of data or no no loss of energy in between and no loss of heat in transmission and these optical fibers are very much effective in transferring uh, energy or they are transferring data that we use today in today's world so these lay a very important foundation in the internet services that we use today so some of the more of the applications here are catalysis so several nanoparticles are scanned selectively oxidize or reduce a chemical reaction so these can be used as a oxidizing or a reducing agent as well so example are envirox 
cerium oxide so we have example here which is enviroc cerium oxide which can be used as a oxidizing or a reducing chemical agent we have energy such as fuel cell solar cell batteries phosphate nanocrystal technology capacitors we also have cosmetics so zinc oxide titanium oxide can be able to absorb or deflect uv light uv light so there are key ingredients of several sunscreen and cosmetics also toothpaste to remineralize teeth so toothpaste are also redesigned or made in a way such that it does not harm your tooth in a by the chemicals present in the toothpaste so it is somewhat uh, recustomized or made again with those ingredients in mind such that it's beneficial for the tooth and it doesn't harm you so let's just keep this video till here hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching